I have a little project going where we're building a blues scale all over the neck, kind of just slowly over time with a few students. Um, we started with just finding the E notes, then we added a G to the E note, then we added an A to the E note. So we've got E, G, A sounding like... Okay, what if we added a B flat, the next note in the blues scale? Check it out. That could be developing a possible phrase. So that's uh, open three, five, six, five, three, zero. That's a good opportunity to maybe flex your uh, pinky strength. Zero, three, five, six, five, three, zero. Of course, we can go to the first string. Same frets. After that, it's going to get a little more a little more complicated. That's why it's important that you actually know these notes. So if we did the next <laughs> E note, I'd play second fret, fourth string E, third string open G, second fret A, third fret B flat, then work it back down. Zero, two, three, two, zero, two. How about here? Based on second string, fifth fret, E, G, A, B flat. And then I'd move up to uh, fifth string, seventh fret. It's going to be the same shape as what we just did. Only up on the fifth, or uh, seventh fret, seven, five, seven. Six, seven, five, seven. And you can start to uh, maybe vary it a little bit. Um, all right. Let's move up to the third string. This shape will be different. This is E, nine to eight. G on the second string, 10, 11, that's a B flat, back to A, G, E. So you're going to start getting used to these shapes that we're doing. Maybe a uh, six string, instead of, you know, go way tall, I'm going to over to the A string, so it's E, 12, G is 10, 12, 13, and then come on up to 4th uh, string, 14th fret, same shape as we've been doing on the 1st string. We can't jump over any more strings, so we have to stretch. Oops. Notice how I keep my fingers lined up on the strings. I'm. This is uh, what I see students do. You know, they kind of pop their fingers out. And that's kind of a reaction that I think is natural. But we want to train ourselves to keep them in position, then you can just peel them off. If you want to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> had a respiratory uh, problem last week. Now, second string. Less strain, same sound. And you get to where you can switch from one to the other without really thinking about it. Way up here on uh, 19 fifth string. <laughs> and uh, we're running out of patterns, but here's one. Oops, that was no good. That's kind of a mess. 
But when it gets weird, that's when it gets more interesting. <laughs> so that's uh, 21 on the third string, E, uh, to 20 on the second string, 22 on the second string, and then there's your 18 on the first string. All right, next we'll probably add a B to the scale if you want to figure it out on your own. And we'll need to add a D and we'll have our blues scale. So we've got all these little patterns. Eventually, you can just string them all together and play freely through the whole neck. That's my goal here. So it's just one method of trying to, you know, there's more than one way to uh, uh, I, I solve a musical problem. And this is just one way I can think of to get people to you know connect all these patterns so when I play you know I don't really have to think about it you know I can just find find whatever note I need without there's really no uh, you know no stress at all with this pattern. I can find a place to play in the entire neck. And I think that's pretty fun. You know, if you only know a, a little corner, a few little corners of the neck, that's a start. But you, with a little more work, you can play the whole neck. And that is much more fun. That's what I would like to see people do. So just ha have fun playing. And uh, if you like this, let me know. I appreciate you checking out the videos. Thank you.